What is up guys I'm back again with another video and in today's one we will be learning how you can make these customized mock up t-shirts in Creta coming up. Before starting off with the video, I just wanted to mention that if you're new to the channel, you can consider subscribing, turn on the notifications because I make content like this on weekly basis. And also we are very close to our 1k subscriber milestone. So if you can support, this will really help me a lot. So yeah, with that said, without wasting your my precious time, let's get into it. So here we are in Krita, the latest version of Krita with us. And we have this PNG image with us, which is our only layer in this project. So the image is a PNG image of a t-shirt. If you want to use the same image, you can go check the description. I will be providing a link over there so that you can use the same assets I am using right now. Also the link of the logo which I will be using will also be in the description. You can check that out as well. So in order to start the customization process of a t-shirt's color, we have to make sure that the alpha channel is locked so that we don't end up coloring anything else outside the t-shirt. So the next thing is go on the top and just select a customized color for your t-shirt. In my case, I will be using a red color. Then go into your brush settings and in the properties, what you can do is you can select the multiply option. So while selecting the multiply property for your brush, I have selected the square tool in order to color our image and i have made sure that i have selected the fill with foreground color uh, in the right hand side corner of the options and in case you don't know about the square tool or how it functions i have already made a video on that you can check the annotation right over the right hand corner if you want to so the next thing we'll be learning is the process of adding a logo to your t-shirt and making it look realistic so in order to import your logo inside your project or your scene, what you have to do is you have to go into the layer settings, uh, import export, then import and import a paint layer. So over here in my case, the image is somewhere here. So as I said before, if you want to use the same image, you can find a link in the description. You can check that out as well. So in order to um, fix the size, what you can use is a transform tool. You can go into the scale settings over here and make sure that the scale is set up to 40 by 40% 40 instead of 100 by 100% so that it fits nicely at the center of your image and you can use the transform tool in order to place it at the center of your image. So the next thing is in order to make it look realistic and actually print it on your t-shirt what you can do is you can go into your uh, logo layer setting and make, and make sure that the setting is set up to multiply so that you will be getting these awesome looking highlights and shadows on your image on your logo and it also helps you to make it look like that this logo is actually printed on the t-shirt so while i was editing this video i just found out a major flaw in the overall process so i'm re-recording this portion of this video and let me show you what the flaw actually was so in case you try to customize the color of your image by using the obviously the square fill tool and customizing the color so in case you customize try to customize the color what happens is what it basically does is it not only changes the way your t-shirt looks but it also changes the way your logo looks in the image as you can see so obviously we don't want that here so what you can do is uh, obviously you can create a duplicate of your image your t-shirt image make sure that you have a duplicate in your scene and make sure that the layer setting of that duplicated t-shirt image is set it up to multiply So the next thing you can do is make sure that you have the fill tool selected and the therefore value to 100 to the max and you can just simply fill the color as over here make sure that it's filled in the duplicate image not the original image so the next thing you can do is you can go into your logo layer and make sure that you have magic wand or quantity selected tool on and press shift and try to select all the portions of your logo like this so that you have selected the entire logo image and with this area selected just go into your duplicated image of your t-shirt and just press delete and as soon as you press delete the selected portion will be deleted from this duplicated image layer and you will be getting a nice realistic looking logo in your image so here what we basically did is that we selected the portion of the logo and we deleted that selected portion from our duplicated layer so that the multiplying layer does not affect the logo at all so yeah, this was it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as I said, you can subscribe, turn on the notifications because we are very near to 1k subscriber milestone. And yeah, if you have any other video ideas, comments or suggestions, you can comment down in the comment section down below. And like always, peace.